This is the grade 8 math practice test for TN Ready. Question number 25. We're in the calculator loud section. I don't think you'll need it here. Uh, the average distance from Earth to the moon is approximately 238,900 miles. What is the distance in miles written in scientific notation? First off, you should note that the units are the same, so you're not doing unit conversion here. They just want scientific notation. What's scientific notation? Scientific notation is the type of notation that you would need to see the general size of something so you can make reasonable comparisons um, in a much easier way. It's where you have the times 10 to the. Astronomers use giant numbers. So if I had something that was this versus something that was this, I'd want to compare them, like just visually speaking, only because this one sticks out a little more. Who knows, but it start, it's a mess. They're pretty big. So what we're going to do is take this decimal point, and we're going to put it behind the first number, and then um, scale it up with a um, 10 and an exponent. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Since it's a large number anyway, uh, that means I'm going to have a positive exponent. So now it becomes... 4.5 times 10 to the, again, I moved it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's a measure of scale. This one, I'm going to put it right there, so it's going to end up being 3.6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now an astronomer can see that this is actually, since this is a 9 and this is an 8, this number is actually 10 times as big as this one, even though the 3.6 is smaller than the 4.5. Similarly, if you're a microbiologist, you may have very small numbers. So in this case, it's a small number, so I'm going to have a negative exponent 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you always put it behind the first digit. So 1.4 times 10 to the, and I said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Negative 9. This tells me it's a very small number. So 9.1 times 10 to the negative 10th. Now, this 10 to the negative 9th is such a big deal. I mean, it's used so often that it actually has its own prefix. So if this was in grams, this would be called a nanogram. Negative 12 is picogram, for instance. So this kind of measurement is not that rare for people who work in science. But what I can see is this number, despite the fact this is 9.1, this is more negative. So this is actually a smaller actual value than this is. So that's why we use scientific notation. You don't have to fiddle with that all that much. We're ready to roll. We'll take our original amount, just give you some background there, um, 238. Again, it's a big number, so I'm going to look for a positive exponent. Just be careful. Now I'm going to, any number that you don't see the decimal, it's at the end. So I need to move it over one, two, three, four, five spots. 2.3. 389 and the zeros I don't even need them times 10 to the positive I moved it 1 2 3 4 5 5 so 2.389 times 10 to the fifth and that's it find out where your decimal point is and if you don't see it you just assume it's the end because it's a large number if you are creating a lar or if you're working with a large number, then your exponent on your 10 is going to be positive. If you're working with a very small number, the exponent on your um, 10 is going to be negative. Move your decimal point from where it is to behind the first digit coming from the left, and then you can set it up from there, and then the number of places that you moved it should tell you what the actual exponent on that 10 is. So that's scientific notation. It makes it much easier to do comparisons without looking at tons and tons of numbers for very small or very large things.